look, I took a foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me, and I love this one because it gives you such flawless looking skin. And usually you should apply a primer before, but I always forget that step. Then I applied a face powder, and I just used the Maybelline Fit Me Face Powder because it looks awesome also. And then I took this NYX bronzer, and I love it because it has the leopard print on it, and it gives you a really nice glow. It looks really harsh on camera, but if you blend it out, it doesn't look like that, and in person, it didn't look like this. It just was the lighting, I guess. And then I took this NYX stick blush in the shade Tea Rose, and I just applied it to my cheeks and rubbed it in with my fingers to give you a natural look, but it looks really pretty, and I just love it. And then I took this NYX blush in the shade Copper and it has a really nice shimmer to it and I just kind of applied it all over my cheek area and also on my forehead because you are turning yourself into an animal so it doesn't have to look natural. Then I primed my eyes with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to make sure that my eyeshadows were very, very vibrant looking. And then I took the NYX Be Fierce palette because you are fierce girl and you better work it. And I took a golden shadow that is up in the top corner and then I applied it all the way up from my lids up to my eyebrow and this is because you want it all over your lids and you want to cover everything. Then I took a dark brown bronzy color and applied it to the crease and blended it out. This does not have to be perfect because like I said, you just want to look like a fierce animal. Next, take this liquid liner by NYX and apply it onto your eyelid to make the leopard print shapes and I just kind of did like U shapes or like the shape of an eye almost and it can be kind of messy, that's alright. And so that's just what I did and I think it came out really good. And again, this does not have to be perfect also because there's going to be another step that will kind of cover up if you have any mistakes so just keep that in mind. Then I took the same golden shade as before and I applied it towards my hairline and downwards because I'm going to be adding more leopard print on this area but you could do a different area if you want it in a different spot. And then I took the liner and I applied more leopard shapes and I went from the top and worked my way outwards down and then down the side of my face towards my eye. And I love how this looks. Then using this brown pencil liner by NYX, I applied it into the leopard prints and this will make it stand out more and add more detail. You can either do them really lightly or darker. I did a mix of both of them because I think it looks more realistic if you have different colored spots because none of them are the same and it just adds more detail. I applied it to both my eye and my forehead as you can see. And I also used it to fill in my brows because you want your brows to stand out because you are doing a really dramatic look. Then I took this Urban Decay Eye Pencil in the shade Demolition and I applied it to my top and bottom lash line. And I like this because it makes my eyes pop but it looks better because it's not as defined and perfect as if you did liquid liner. It looks more kind of messy and smoky and I think it just adds to the look and goes with it. Then I curled my lashes, of course, because you want your lashes to stand out and look volumized. Now apply your favorite mascara. I use the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express to my top and bottom lashes to thicken them and make them look gorge. And then the look is almost complete. You just want to apply your lips applied this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London and it is a nude color which I think is perfect because the rest of the look is really bold so this kind of balances it out. Then I applied this Glam Gloss in the shade Disco Playground to add a little bit of glitter to this look. So I hope you enjoyed this Halloween makeup tutorial. If you try it out, definitely send me some pictures on Instagram or Twitter because I'll make sure to respond to you guys and I love you guys. See you in my next one. Mwah!